how do you replace all these frames without taking all of the sides of the boat out? First plank clamped into place. So welcome back. Yep, today we're doing something that I've not been looking forward to. It's taking planks off the boat. Something we've never done before. So at the very front, right behind Simon's head. Pointy end. There, we are replacing some planks. Yeah, and I think at the front it's gonna be quite easy because we can take quite a few off. Obviously no water's gonna come in. Yeah. It should not be a problem. Right, should we have a look at the planks that we're gonna take off? So if you remember from the inside, we there's like a big triangle shaped piece of wood around here somewhere. And right next to it, there was a hole. And here's our holy plank. Not good. Right, so we take that off and we also need to take this off, which is the, I don't know, the finishing rail. I don't know what it's called, but basically it makes the boat look pretty, doesn't it? We need to get that off, get these planks off. And I think we've got to take quite a few planks off around here. Um, so then we can do the work. I don't know. We're just going to start taking it apart even more. Right, so basically trying to remove this rail here. I don't know what it's called, rub rail, cat rail. I think it's a rub rail, isn't it? But basically from the original hull to where the plywood bulwark. So they've basically got big flat blade fasteners going through, but they've been bunged very beautifully. But we need to take the bungs out so we can get to the screws. There we go, so we can now just about see the screw head now. Hopefully it's going to come out dead easy, like it was put in yesterday. What do you think? Yeah. All right, so I've got this lower piece off now, kind of like, kind of pulled it. Got another splinter though. <sighs> Should wear gloves. Should have wear gloves. But I think it's because I'm on like a ladder really. I've got nothing to like balance myself on. I'm like sort of walking around like Jack Sparrow. Gemma's undoing a screw. <laughs> Look, like hanging off the sides of the boat. It's not the most comfortable. Oh, it's only mud. Get on with it. How many screws is there? Three. Three? Oh, the Get an impactor. <sighs> oh, yeah. At home, I ordered some screwdriver ends to go on the on the drill. As I said, at home, I've left them at home, so nothing worse than undoing screws by hand, is there? Oh my god! Right, so what I'm going to do now is start taking the outer planks off. So I think by doing how we're going to do that is there's loads and loads of very very small nails. So I'm going to cut the heads off the small nails and a bit. Hopefully, pull the planks off. We'll see, our first time. Oh, see all, all of these small fixings, they basically what, what hold the two sets of planks together, so to keep the double diagonal, the crisscross shape. So that's basically throughout the whole boat. So yeah, gonna get me grinder now, basically cut all the heads off them and hopefully this outer plank will come away. But there's probably a couple of errors because um, here's a nail we put in through the frame. I'm going to have to cut the head off of that, really, and then knock that back out. So we lost a nail, never mind. 
So these bolts here went, went all the way through from the outer planks all the way through the other side of the beam shelf. So Jen was just knocking them out now from that side. Hey. Right, so we now remove the wedgie bit, which is that's the one on the port side. We've removed the starboard side. So as we sort of knew behind it, there was a rotten planks. So we've got these planks on the inside that really need changing. And there's no frames in the way, so it's great. We can actually cut out the sections that we need to and change these planks. But on the other side at the back as well, there's also planks that need changing. And we're double diagonal. So we're going this way on the inside and this way on the outside. So we can't replace, say the inside ones first because they need to fix to the outside ones. And we can't change the outside ones because they need to fix to the inside ones. <laughs> Quite a, con a conundrum you've got going on there. <laughs> so, how do you replace all these frames without taking all of the sides of the boat out? Or is that the only option? Take it apart. But then I'm worried about the sort of structural integrity of the front. And I'm even worried just at the moment standing sort of on the hull working on it because you can see the movement when you're doing it. Just wait till we take the stem out. <laughs> Do you know what I'm thinking? Well, we haven't got water for a week, have we? So we're fine. Yeah. Do you know what I'm thinking? You know the frames here, uh, yeah. the stringers? Yeah. Why don't we brace from side to side yeah, so the front stays together? But then it still means we are going to have a big hole in the sides of the boat. I say we just start taking it apart, get rid of all the bad, and then we figure out how to put it back together nice and straight. Well, it's going to be turned in shape. Isn't basically, it? we're going to have to place these planks in, yeah. place like clamp them up, yeah. clamp the outside on top, and then nail it all at once. So we yeah. need to take them all off to put them all on at the same yeah. time. Let's take them all off. Ah! <laughs> Bugger. Is it normal just to put a big hole in your boat? Okay, that works out quite well. I thought it was just going to split and fall apart, haven't it? One plank.
two plunks. They look alright, I don't know. Until you get that. Do you think there's anybody panicking at home now going, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know about you panicking at home, but I'm panicking still dry to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, well, it's fine. So they literally just butt flat the ends of the planks. Yes. Not on special into it or anything. No. They just go literally straight up to the outer stem. I like this calico though. It's like I don't know. They've had a big sheet all over, wouldn't, wouldn't it, before the end? Right, so I found it quite difficult to find the the heads and the nails on the outside because of like well, 80 years worth of paint. But as you can see, the ones I did find here, so I found the heads of them, then I knocked them back in. But then there's just a couple more along here, which I couldn't quite find. So I'm going to go and just sort of hack these ones off now. Who put this piece of wood here? So I've been assured that the water's not actually going to touch us, but we'll see. It's coming in now. Uh, this is the most awful place to work. Right, so me and Gemma have been having a good discussion about where we're going to cut these planks because obviously you don't want to just cut a big straight line and then we put the outer ones in and technically make a weak point. But we've got to come to a compromise because... Yeah, yeah, egg finds out. So we're going to cut this one here. We're going to cut that one there. We're going to cut that one there. This one, I can't remember where we said we were going to... Oh yeah, we're going to cut that one down there. This one here, definitely not that one we scribbled out, that's going to get cut across there. And then this one's going to get cut here. So all of the joints are actually staggered. Right. So, so we're basically going to cut them off and then we're going to have a reassess because it's quite hard to visualise. Cut your boat time. Cut your boat up. In the again. water. In the water. Tide's still coming in. What a beautiful place, look where we are. Wow. Very hot. Well, it's it's very sunny. It was roasting this morning because there's no winds. The winds picked up, and um, so it's a nice breeze. But it's just it's too windy. Never happy, are we? <laughs> Right, so I think we've caught as much of the bad hours as we can at the moment. So now it's probably time to start putting some material back in. So I think what we're going to do is put one going... ...all the way down there now. And then we'll start with putting some going up. Because then we can start making like a, like a crisscross kind of pattern. But what we need to do is wait for the water to... Um, Disappear. It's actually still coming in at the moment. The tires are quite neepy, so they sort of, sort of linger. 
Because that's where I was standing earlier. Even though I could probably still stand there because I'm on the step ladder, aren't I? But all right, so what we need to do now is go and cut a piece of material now I'm going basically the longest one, so it's gonna be fun. And I think what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna just basically screw them in for now. And then once we're happy, then we can take the screws out, and then we can then replace them with a little copper nail and rove them, can't we? That's plan A anyway, so let's see how we get on. So here's our material. Which this is a Roco. So Roco is apparently it's a very good material to use for um, boat building. So hopefully it'll outlast me. Isn't she beautiful though? Who me? Not, oh. not you, Gemma. Oh. I was on about the wood. Right, so we left these wide. I can't remember the measurement there. 150 mil, something like that. But what we need to do now, but actually. Millimeter perfect in our tolerances now because all we do now is stacking them up. But if we go and get an average thickness of the of the planks now, and then we can start putting them in at that. What do you think? Yeah. Start working out how we're gonna patch the hole up. We've already fixed it. We've already figured it out. Okay. We? It out. We've got a plan A anyway. We're gonna well, run... you just all let me know what's we're, going we're, on. We're gonna run with plan A, and then we'll. Oh, we'll change to plan B because we always do. Yeah. All right. Well, so let's get this cut to length. And then we'll do the width of it. And then, yeah, go from there. And then we'll, we need to wait for the water to go away, don't we? I'm gonna go left a bit, actually. I've got a feeling. Ah. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you should be in film, did you? No. Right, so you're gonna cut that. So we've measured it 1350. So we're gonna cut that now. And then we're going to cut the width of the plank, which we haven't actually determined the width yet. So while Gemma's cutting now, I'm going to measure the width. Yeah, then, let's see how wide you are. Two millimetres. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, that's about right. Stop, Gemma. Iroko is not nice wood, so I'd always recommend you wear a suffocating thing on your face. Right, so we set up our pound shop saw. <laughs> well, it may as well have been for the pound shop, haven't it? Like middle and little special yeah. again, isn't I've it? I've had this for years. I think I've used it twice on this boat, anyway. But now we've got to do all these big long lengths, we need a bit of a panel saw. So it's, it's um, opposite to what we're used to, we're used to the fence being on this side. Obviously you can have the fence on that side, but we've got to do a larger measurement. So this, my friends, is our first ever plank. Yeah, plenty more of them to go, I think. Well, she fits great. <laughs> There's a slight sort of twist to it. So once it's fixed here and fixed up the top there, um, we'll put the twist in it because obviously boats aren't straight, are they? I know it's just clamped up, but it looks cool. <laughs> I want to see it, but I can't be bothered getting my wellies on. <laughs> right, okay, so that's basically the first clamp, clamp, first clamp, first plank clamped into place. What do you do now? I don't know. So we need to sort of glue all these together, don't we? So do we glue this one, then we put the next one in, or do we try and make a bit of a jigsaw puzzle first before we get the glue out? Because it's going to get everywhere, isn't it? What do you reckon, Gem? I think we make some more. Make some more. Yeah, so uh, yeah. The upright ones going this way. Yeah, that's probably planned, yeah. So we get them all made, and then we'll do a big assembly. Yeah. So we've just been outside and measured up the planks. We haven't filmed it because it's so windy out there um but i've got a big stick now with quite a few measurements on 
So we are just going to quickly cut them all down and then we're going to put the right angles on them to join into the other planks. You don't put the wrong angles on them, do you? No, it has to be the right angles, <laughs> not the wrong angles. <laughs> So Jimmy's done a fantastic job of taking notes there. But what I've just been looking at is our quantity of plank material. So we've got three pieces. Well, let's see how far this gets us. Then we might have to go to the workshop and process some more. Because I don't, we sort of cut the thickness. I wasn't quite sure you know, if this was going to work or not. You, there's no point in processing it all and finding out like you've made an error. So what we'll do is cut all these up and see how we go. So I think for in the future we could do one of them saws that like a like a sliding one. Yeah. Sliding might have saw. The thing. issue is though obviously the big tools that we use here, we have to be able to carry them over to the boat. Yeah. So we can't use anything too massive that we can't really move around the boat to different locations and getting it over here as well. So they do look like pathetic and obviously That's a good, it's a good saw, that, trying but... to build a ship where like tiny hand tools and tiny bits of machines it's not ideal yeah. but you've got to remember you actually be able to cut at least that that yeah. thickness in one in one part but you've got to remember we are literally off grid we're not we haven't got the boat in a workshop like most youtubers do we're in the mud we're in the mud <laughs> in the middle of nowhere making do but we can still off, get it done we've powered from soul as well yeah Good. free power free power <laughs> Right, so the ones we've just cut, we now need to get to the right thickness. Yeah, and then we need to cut the angles. Right, so we yeah we definitely ran out of material, so we've been basically been trying to balance them all here, but you can't really just balance pieces of wood. But you can. But what we need to do really is be screwing it as we go, as we put it together, or nailing it as we go together. So what we need to do is get all the, all the material. So basically, what we need to do is was back to the workshop and cut some more. It's going well though. What do you think? Yeah. Well, at least if we go back to the workshop now. We can cut them all to length and width and it'll be quicker doing it in the workshop with the big saw right so we're at the workshop now um come to get some plank material do you think we've got enough hopefully we've got enough this is actually all the material that we're going to be using to make the deck beams because we're going to be laminating the deck beams so we need to like loads of thin strips or whatever to to laminate to get the thickness so quick sneak peek of this into the future of us doing the deck beams. Well, right, let's get one of these out and then we'll send it through the player and the saw. We have just had a delivery from the postman. So I think I know what this is. I had an email from a lovely guy called Ken the other day who obviously has seen our struggles when Simon's working outside and I'm inside and we struggle to hear each other. And he said, I've sent you some headsets. So. I have a feeling. They're like, they're proper. Yeah. <laughs> they're proper ones. Well, that's proper. Oh, there you go. I got the box. So he has sent us two, but I think they're coming in different deliveries. <coughs> wow. They're like, no, they are serious. So I think what he's done, he sent us two different styles to allow for my ponytail. So one of them is great for, no. I can't be right. No. <laughs> Let's <laughs> just pause it, we'll figure it out. 
Give us one minute. Ten minutes later, we wait around. Can you see me on that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give them a little close up. Awesome. Check them out. They're gonna be wicked. My shelter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Right. No. I will read the instructions yeah, on so these. So, for future notice, the the big bendy bit goes to the back of your neck. That goes on. Oh. Then you got a little. Yeah. Strap on. Yeah. You keep wear your hat. Oh, you can still wear your hat. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, obviously, we'll wait for the second pair to come because one headset on its own isn't going to do much, is it? Well, I always talk to myself anyway. <laughs> well, I always blank you out, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ken, thank you so, so, so much. This is going to make, you know, even when when we're not working inside and outside, the boat is that big as we're walking around. And I was like, Sai! Yeah, but, yeah, but th these, th this is this is a wicked make. Yeah. This is what you're using rallying and stuff like that. This, this will be a proper like. So this is gonna make us like noise professionals. Can noise cancelling and stuff like that. These these are gonna be serious. So. Um, thank when, you. When so we're much. docking and stuff like that. When yeah, in the some, future. In the future. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. When I'm at the back at the morning line, I'm going just move in a bit closer to the dock. But we're not shouting. We can still yeah. use those. So yeah. they've got loads and loads of uses yeah. on the boat. So. Again, Ken, I can't, I can't thank you enough, yeah. and also because I've just seen the invoice and seen what you paid, and I was like, <gasps> <Yeah>. so <laughs> thank yeah. you, so, thank you. But they, we will make very good use of them. Yeah, thank you much. yeah. I can't wait for and the other pair to arrive now. When I'm on them. the tender, yeah. When you go over there, no, that'd be brilliant. Awesome. I wonder what the range is on them. Long enough. Oh, ah, bro. Yeah. Right, we will give them some good tester when they thank both you. arrive, when the second one arrives. Yeah. But yeah, Ken, you are awesome. So um, right, all right. of our supporters are awesome. You just blow us away every single day, and it still shocks us to how amazing you guys are. So thank you to everyone, all our patrons, everyone who makes a donation to make this project possible. Thank you all so much. Right, so we're back at the boat. Can you tell? Right, so obviously this is this is the day later. We've been going through our heads because we've got to, got to pop the curve back into it, haven't we? It's curves are good. It's like a double curve, and it? So it curves that way, and it also curves that way. That's where boats get the strength from. So what we don't want is one big flat area. It's not too bad on the rest of the boat because we've got the frames to work against, don't we? But here we haven't got any frames. We have them big triangle piece thingies. So we've we've, we've just put. A, basically a straight piece of wood across there and you can see from that point to that point we need to come in a bit don't we can't really bend this but what Gemma's idea was was to get a thin piece and then screw it to the top of these frames here and then we can then get our our curve into this one so if you ever wonder why this boat building takes so long it's because we've got a set Stupid cameras, I would show you a picture of the camera, but you're on it. Alright, so we're going to be putting a piece of wood sticking out there, and then we've got variable um, variable camera locations to capture the action. Right. So you never know what to do, because I've run out of hands now, because I've like, got hold of the camera. Right here. here you go, Gem. There's one impactor. Drill. And you've you got a screw. Drill. Can you drill it? Yeah, I don't want to craft me frame. Right, now I've got to get the drill. There's a drill. So now I'm going to try and balance this while also capturing amazing silhouetted shots. Yeah. That would be great.
Kind of needs another screw in that. Just turn it up. Okay, there you go. Somewhere to mount the camera. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know it's dinner time, so we're going to go. <laughs> All right, the right way up. Right there. Now we're going to pull the glue on that. Now we're going to squish it on. What do you know with gloves? Unfortunately, it's white glue. I think I've got it on balance on the end. I don't, you won't believe this, but that's in the way. <laughs> Bloody cameras! <laughs> Camera mounts. Right. Um, just, just, just go and hack the end off this. Be quicker. You got a pen? No, we are. I'll just move the camera mount. Alright, up arrow. Yep, cool. Check. So, finger in. Let's try fix this end first. Number two. Last one! Last plank! Woo! Oh, we need some whiskey! <laughs> <laughs> it's not the last one on the whole boat, do you? No. Oh. I can't see. Right, so that's all the planks now, temporary fitted with the just normal steel screws. Bit of a bit of a debate with Gemma. Do we copper nail it now? Do we take a screw out and throw a copper nail in it now? Or do we let the glue dry and then we we then copper nail it? I don't know, sort of sort of worth out yet. But obviously all these planks are too high, so we just left them long. So in a, in a bit, later on today, we need to cut them all back. But what I'm gonna do is just cut them all back, but keep them still keep them high, don't commit to a don't commit to the the finished cut just yet. So we've just geared up, got our tools ready to do some copper nails. 
but then I actually realised there's no space for copper nails because the tall the tops of the planks are going to be cut off then down there we've got the big block to go in and we don't want any roofs kicking our block out um, so there's literally them two planks that we could possibly put copper roofs in because then you've also got your beam shelf here and then behind your beam shelf you've got the packers that go in and again you don't want to put roofs there and then not be able to put your packers in and your beam shelf and stuff so there's potential about three copper nails that we could put in so we may as well do that another time when we know the space that yeah. we've left yeah yeah Like. A bit wonky, do you? On the liners, yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, so Gemma just said, everyone at home is going to say, you've missed a bit or you've done something. Now, so, the outside planks are here. So these are actually, eventually, going to get cut off along here. What we've done by accident, though, is glued them. So they're going to be a pain, aren't we? But anyway, so we're going to be cutting the outside planks off here. We still got a couple more planks to go, the very tops of the planks, but we just wanted to concentrate on getting the getting the very forward part of the stem done. So all good. And as you can tell here, if you can see by my little hand, see my hand. That's where the hose pipe was and is going back. So there's no point it's going all the way down, that's gonna be cut out. So it's going very well. What do you think? Gonna give us a thumbs up for that, what? So a lot of people actually ask how long does stuff take us and we've yeah, there's been a few comments recently saying that we should let you all know so that has took us two days but then also it takes me a day to edit the video so all of that for you guys to see is three days work but i think we've done them a lot quicker than what we thought we would so that is 16 planks that we've just put in there so that's quite an achievement so next time it is on to the stem so wish us luck and come back next week to see how we get on just got a button at the end but my biggest threat with this is that it was going to end up staying straight it was going to strain itself out i was thinking how can we hold it back and bend it and uh, you know what we like bending stuff um so though if you can tell there is a big sort of sweep to it perfect shape Perfect shape of the bow. I think it's because it's screwed at the bottom. It sort of, it keeps the shape, doesn't it? So it's worked out very well. So thanks guys, see you later. Bye 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 bye.